Hi everybody and welcome to this LinkedIn Easy Apply series. Uh, this is going to be the first demonstration of how the program actually works. The later videos are going to show uh, how the program was created. Now we're just going to demonstrate how it works. Uh, so one thing to keep in mind is that what we're trying to do here is automate uh, applying on LinkedIn via the Easy Apply button. Now all we have to do with the Easy Apply button uh, is just input three main areas, one of which LinkedIn saves automatically, and I believe these other two they do too. Uh, and we're just trying to iterate through and submit all these applications that we want to submit for the jobs in the located city uh, that we want. So if I go back, we can iterate through tons and tons of pages. So uh, we're going to do this by using Selenium, a library in Python that allows us to automate our browser. And without further ado, I'm going to demonstrate how the program works. And don't be intimidated by anything right here, right now. Um, this is just PyCharm and the project that I have. And we're going to go through every aspect of this code and showing how I made it from scratch. So let's shift F10 to start the program. And you can see right here we have a simple GUI made in Kinter. Now we can just type in our email username, which is going to be meant for sending the applied jobs. Uh, to the user. Now this is going to come directly to your email address so whatever jobs you end up applying to it's going to send a report based on it. And I'm just going to type in my password and the LinkedIn username pretty self-explanatory. And desired job title and location city. and the phone number we need. And a page limit. And our resume path. And our driver path. And this is gonna be meant for Selenium. And this is gonna be explained later. So after we're done, we can submit it, bearing in mind that we didn't make any uh, password errors in our entry. And we'll just wait for the program to start running. So you can see LinkedIn is being logged in automatically by Chrome in our program. And we'll wait and see what happens. And we're switching to a view here. And you can see the program work in action when we iterate through these jobs. And you can see right here we've uh, successfully applied to what will now be two jobs and I'm going to let it go for a little bit longer. And you can see that it also keeps in mind that if it doesn't have the tag it will go back to the code to the uh, main page and look for other jobs at this window. And I don't think we have to go on any longer. We'll just wait for this one last job. And we'll stop the program. So at the end, after we iterate through the first uh, 10 pages that we want, then it'll send an email in the form of a table saying whether or not we successfully applied to the job or not. Now, uh, this is the extent of the program. I hope you guys like it. And I can't wait to go on and start coding uh, all these modules that I made in here from scratch and show you guys how I did it. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.